All right. So homotopy equivalence. So uh, and we're doing homotopy. So so let's just get into the, the math of this. So homotopy. All right. So um, let's do uh, let's define it. Okay. So let uh, uh, f zero and f one. Uh, be maps in, in uh, morphisms. Okay, so let's, let's break it here. In, of, in topological spaces. Okay, so of topological spaces, then we say that F0 is, is related to F1, and we, we will write this. This means that uh, uh, the uh, F0 and FG, or in, 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 sorry, and F1 are homotop uh, homotopic. All right, well, that's what we'll say. Uh, if and only if, right, so that there exists some a function interpolating them uh, such that right, F0, uh, this is the first one, and OK, and as usual, we're going to write, um, uh, you know, Sometimes in later in the video, we're going to write that interval as, as i. Okay, so this is what it means to be hom homo homotopic, homotopic. Okay, so um, okay, so uh, sometimes uh, so 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 there's some notation that we want to introduce, and what we'll want to say is is we'll want to write um, uh, so f zero like this. So this is a I think I've mentioned two categories in my. Uh, uh, in the like office hours portion of this course, um, but this is a morphism of morphisms, um, and, and this is we'll, we'll use this. This just denotes a, a homotopy. Homotopy. Now I don't, now I've I've kind of confused myself as to what I want to call this. Okay, so then there's another thing we can define an equivalence relation on on the set of maps. Okay, so. Uh, so this thing here, so, so this is the set of uh, continuous maps, and we can consider the modulo hom uh, homotopy, right? And so, um, so uh, there's kind of a good exercise, and maybe I'm going to get into this a little bit. Well, I, I probably do. I do pretty much the whole thing. Well, I guess you should check all the, we'll, we'll see, okay? So, um, uh, so that this thing here, the homotopy is an equivalence relation. So two uh, defines an equivalence relation on maps. Okay. So um, okay. So so uh, do I want to say anything else at this point? Um, okay. I, I don't think I need to say. Uh, oh 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 oh. I do need to say one thing. Uh, so maybe I should give an example, and then I'll then I'll make this statement about um, this other perspective. So we, we talked about path homotopies in the previous video, and uh, this is clearly a special case of, of path homotopies. Um, but there's more to say, uh, and then there's variants of this that I'll introduce when they come up. So there's so there's sometimes fixed endpoint homotopies, things like that. Um, but there's kind of a fancy perspective, right? But it it, uh, it it really says uh, per what do I do? Okay, uh, and we, we're going to use the compact open topology now, right? So um, okay, so the fancy perspective is first um, uh, first we can define. So let's make a definition. So pi zero of a topological space, right? So this is going to be the Okay, I take a single point, right, and I take the equivalence class of maps uh, of this point in here. So these are uh, so so this is when two points are path connected, right? So this th this thing here is the this is uh, the path connected components of uh, this x. Okay, so 
this is, uh, yeah, so there's this pi zero thing. This is the path connected components. And um, so what do I want to say? So let's, maybe I can, I should draw, make a drawing, right? So what are the path connected components? So if I have a space that's like this where I deleted something, so this is one, so if x is this whole thing, this is one path connected component because I can get from one point to any other point via path, and I can get this one to this one by, from any other point via path. So you can notice that, why are these paths, right? Well, here I'm just mapping a point in, right? In a homotopy of a map from a point to another homotopy from a map from, from, a, map from a point is just a path. Okay, so, uh, so that's what this, uh, that's what the path connected components are. And then, um, uh, and then the, the, the fancy perspective of, of this thing here, right? I could have defined path connected components without defining, you know, this equivalence relation first, but let's use it for convenience. Um, okay, but here, this is the kind of fancier perspective is that, and I'm not gonna do it, okay. So this is the fancy perspective is that uh, if I look at the connected components of the space of maps, so the maps themselves are a space, right? And then I can look at all the maps which are connected by a path. So that's the same thing as a, a, a homotopy, right? So like the, 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 what we're doing here is we're using this adjunction here. So F is a map from here to here. So this thing here, the adjoint, so there's, there's kind of the adjoint perspective is that um, here we have a map from I into, you know, right? So this is the adjoint perspective. And so this is like a path in this space, okay? So a path of maps. Okay. Um, all right. So, so, um, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's all I wanted to say about this. So let's do some examples, right? Okay. So let's do, uh, some really basic examples just for sanity. Okay. So any two maps from Rn to Rn are homo homotopic. Okay, and uh, the the proof uh, is that um, uh, so so we'll just you know we'll just do this this thing that's called the straight line homotopy. Okay, let me just kind of so you you see this. So this is so we'll we'll sometimes use this notation, right? So that this is the the function at t. So this is uh, uh, one minus t. Uh, plus t. Okay, so this thing is called a straight line. I'm much happy. Okay, and um, uh, so uh, well, why is it called a straight line? I'm happy because if you just you don't it doesn't really depend on f of x here, but yeah, I guess we can write it like that. Here's f of x. Here's g of x. Right, and then the path just goes completely along them. So this is at uh, t is equal to zero, and this is at t is equal to one. Okay, so that's it. All right, um, a as a consequence, right, of this is that uh, any map is, is so, so, uh, uh, so any map in, in here is, is what's called null, null homotopic, or null homotopic. Okay, so, uh, so what's, a, what's a definition here? So uh, a map, is null homotopic topic uh, if and only if f is homotopic to a constant map for some x naught. Okay, so this thing is the constant map. Okay, and um, uh, so uh, and so so. Um, Okay, so the, the notation here is, is that this thing, okay, if I, if I apply uh, any, if I apply this to any, um, uh, 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 
let's, uh, let's do y not because it's supposed to be in the target. Okay, this thing here, if I plug in any x, this is just y not, right? So it just returns the constant value. Okay, so um, okay, and then uh, so a consequence of this this thing is that uh, so so note, you know, any any function. Rn is null homotopic. Okay, because the function is one of those, and they're all equivalent anyway. Okay, so this is um, uh, so now we have our kind of basic uh, ingredients for um, uh, for for what a homotopy is. I've, I've given you all the the legal jargon. Okay, so now I'm going to define what homotopy equivalence is. Okay, so what's homotopy equivalence? Okay, so let's do homotopy equivalence. Yeah, let me stop, and then um, uh, that way I'll just kind of chop this up a little bit more.